Hey guys, it's Epic Medical Tutorials here with a new tutorial and this is keyframing. Just so you know, Sony Vegas is all about keyframing. And if you don't understand keyframing, you won't understand Sony Vegas. So, I'll try to go over this with as much detail as I can and for any of you to try to listen to them. Because if you don't learn how to keyframe, you won't enjoy Sony Vegas. So now, let's just drag a video here sees my turtle flea he's all happy now let's look for some decent effects now there's some a lot of them such as chroma chroma kai but we want to animate stuff don't we so let's try lens flare okay so this is the keyframing timeline and each of these individual Diamonds, that's a keyframe. And so, uh, um, just like the regular timeline, you can stretch it, make it more specific, or whatever you call it. And so, now I'm gonna add like a sun or something. Now, um, Alright, so, let's try this, so, like, you, you can choose, like, where you want in the timeline, you can animate, but pay close attention, like, you know, this, and, ah, getting almost hold up. Alright, so, let's select its position, like, let's move it up a little, so you can see, to zoom here. You can see it created uh, a diamond, and this indicates one keyframe. And you can set them throughout throughout the keyframing timeline to animate stuff. And now let's set. Now let's make the keyframe more separate. But sometimes it's only these it groups in by. Just need to make sure they're unhighlighted. Now you can let's just move it. Let's move it right here. Seems pretty good. Now let's move right here. Now, right here. You can see I created. Create a Y. Like, um. Three keyframes. First one doesn't count. Now let's test, um. The effect. As you can see, the sun moved pretty quickly and why I didn't move pretty quickly because I set the keyframes um too close to each other and like the closer you set the keyframes to each other the faster it'll be and if you make them far apart the slower it'll be let me just sh show it right here alright uh, you'll see like a big difference. As you can see this time the the sun or the lens flare moves a bit more slowly. And let's pause it. And let me just go over some important details here. So again the diamond is a keyframe and the more far apart they are, the slower it is and the more close they are to each other the faster it is. Now let's add everybody's favorite effect, which is light rays. So let's add this. Try something like epidemical. Like me, whatever. Now um, let's just choose the color, background color. Nah, looks better all black. Now let's add a really nice effect of light rays. I personally really like this one and I use it everywhere. So now let's try it out. Let's try it out one second. You can see it has like a glow to it. Pretty nice glow. 
But now it's just used. Alright, so let's test this out. It's gonna go pretty fast and the key, key frames are pretty close to each other. Alright, so let's watch it here. You can see it goes pretty fast and stopped right there because that's where my key frame being timeline ended. So now let's just click on that and let's add some more. Make it more separate. I'll make it look more professional. Now you can also change the color. But this is pretty basic keyframing. Advanced keyframing. Um it's it's not difficult but it's consume it's consuming. So now um it's pretty much it. Let's just test the effect right here. Ah it's just perfect. Now let's add um really nice effects. Let's try this one. With my squirrel. Now um I'm gonna add a really nice effect which is the uh, color corrector. I mean color balance. So now let's just test it out. Now let's keyframe this. So I'm gonna make it. We're just gonna jump out at red. Now again, your keyframing timeline doesn't appear. It's probably gonna be like this. Just to go over here and scroll it at. And this um, you can see you can change the color. It's all mixing. Okay, you can add yellowish orange color. Purple. Mix colors pretty nice. Now let's test it out. It's gonna go pretty fast. Its keyframes are pretty close to each other. You can see we just create an animation. Now and you could choose how fast or slow the keyframes keyframes go. Now you could cl right click on the keyframe and you can see him just zoom zoom in here. So you can see um so all these options so all these options as I said. You can and you can choose where you want it to be slow. fast, slow, or smooth. I'm gonna choose smooth. And you choose like fast, it'll change colors. You can see. Again, um, keep framing. It takes some practice. Well, it's not difficult at all, but it's time consuming. It's all about precision, where about where you put in the timeline and stuff. Now let's just set out. As you can see, it got smoother. Well, the transition from from blackness to this effect, it became smoother. And now, um, let's just um so that seems like the pretty pretty much basic keyframing. I'll go over advanced keyframing in another tutorial. This has been Epidemical here and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and peace.